Hey guys, welcome to this week's commentary. Hey guys, welcome to this week's commentary and... Oh, you're supposed to be dead. Continuity. Uh, let me let me fix that. Uh, let me just set up a little memorial. Sorry for taking a break for the past couple weeks. I needed some time to mourn the loss of a dear, dear, dear cum pillow. Um, and in the midst of my grief, I have rediscovered two things that really helped me when I was depressed. The first thing being hydrocodone. And the second thing being Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh shit, I can't feel anything, you guys. Due to my mourning the death of Daryl, who's totally dead, um, I rediscovered Evangelion, which helped me the first time I was depressed when I was about 16, uh, saved me from killing myself, which, you know, a blessing and a curse. Um, and I found a YouTuber by the name of Oversized Tit Lover who. Well, I'll let him explain, and oh my god, you guys, there are spiders all over me. What's up, everyone? This is Oversized Silver here. And Hi there, Oversized Silver. And welcome back to another edition of Battle of Tits, round 66. Can you believe that? He almost has as many commentaries as I do talking about anime titties. How do you do 66 videos about anime titties? I couldn't talk about Bara armpits for 5 minutes. So these two girls are from the same series. You look like an extra in the cantina from Star Wars. And the series I'm talking about is Evangelion Neon Genesis. Neon Genesis for short. You didn't even try. Nobody calls it that. Do your research before talking about the titties. Fuck. And I'm gonna explain one of the girls, why she's like, like a made-up character, because most of you guys are probably confused. Who the hell is this girl? She was never in this series. She's a fan character. There. Two words. Done it for you. Do not take fucking ramble talking with your big old teeth. Now, let me explain what Battle Tits is actually about. If you guys are new to my channel, it's your first time watching this video. Please, explain to us how Battle of the Tits, explain the structure. How, how, how do you compare? What is the judge? Battle Tits is a what-if scenario. Like, what if this girl had oversized tits? Even for characters that never had oversized tits from the actual anime, they'll have oversized tits in the series. Where does the battle part come in, though? Do they, do they hit each other with them? And, you know, even made-up sample characters can make an appearance. So, it's a what-if scenario. So that's what Battle Tits is actually about. Oh, thank you for clearing that up. The first girl on this side, we got Kione. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's the sample character. Now, when you look at this design, she's basically Asuka. The character from Evangelion. She just has blonde hair and really huge tits and everything. I am 70 shit zillion percent sure that that's just fan art of Sailor Venus in Oscar's plug suit with big old titties. So when I looked up research, there's really no story of this character. There's really no, like, personality. So I oh, because you give a fuck about either of those things when talking about titties. Oh yeah, her titties are big, but... I don't know, I don't like how she's over-sexualized in the show and how the male characters treat her. What is this, kill a kill? Pretty much had to imagine what her personality would be. Why would you even choose to use her? I'm pretty sure there's Art of Oscar with oversized titties. I know for a fact there is. I'm not gonna go looking it up, but trust me, it's there. You know, her tits are really huge, obviously. She's really great looking. I just kind of wish this chick had like a doujin or something like that. Somebody show Anna with this shit. The other girl I'm talking about on this side is Ray. Fuck. <laughs> That's the first time I've smiled since Daryl died. Wow, I'm talking about the Moguden Ray. Moguden Ray, oh man, the Moguden art style, after all, is just. It's fucking ugly, is what it is. Jesus. Outstanding, huge tits, huge ass, great looking body. Okay, work, I guess, but you're wrong. I love this type of Ray because obviously she's the super slut. She's the This is me. Who am I? Who am I? She'll have sex with anybody. She'll. This object that is, is myself. Which forms me. Don't suck a dick with anybody. Do you possess a false body and a fake soul? Do you know why? I am neither false nor fake. I am simply me. I mean, she'll get ass fucked like crazy. Do you perceive? 
perceive the almost intangible and invisible presence that lurks below your waking self, inside your darkest dreams. It is there that your true identity lies. Her tits will get combed all, all over the place, so... I know the other Ray from the actual anime series, she has a, like a dark past and she's like an unknown character, you don't really know much about her until later, which I don't want to spoil. Why does this kid just equate having a backstory to being a fully fleshed out character? A totally different personality. Art style of this character has been around since like 2007 I believe. It should have stayed there, bitch. Yeah guys, so the final verdict, who's gonna win Battle Tits, is it gonna be Kiyone or is it gonna be Ray? Wait, that's how you just talk about them in their titties and then like... Okay, um, okay, uh, hey, my subscribers, which, by the way, I have more subscribers than Ranter and Shades. Uh, uh, subscribers, who do you think wanted to put it in the comments? If you guys like this video, go ahead and rate, comment, boop, subscribe for more precise tips. Did he, did, did he, did he just say rate, comment, boop, subscribe? Alright, guys, peace out. Oh, God. So, yeah, uh, I'm back. Um, I, I have one less cast member, though. Someday, I'm gonna get him back, I promise. Oh, like, because you all care about the, the deep lore and plot of Cody Bristol commentaries, which I did as a joke. Those oxys are amazing.